So, the workflow for getting a mold through Meltus additive technology is a sequential process that begins with the creation of a three-dimensional model and a computer-added design software. This model is then converted to the STL mesh format, which describes the object's geometry using triangles. Next, in the slicer software Melty Horizon, the STL model is sliced into horizontal layers, generating the printing path for our 3D printer, resulting in a script called Deco. This is sent to the printer, which builds the piece layer by layer through the controlled deposition of material. Following the printing phase, the part undergoes post-processing steps. Specifically, a stool steel welding wire was used for the mold. The next step involves annealing. This is a heat treatment process necessary to relieve internal stress caused by the rapid solidification of the metal and also to enhance its machinability. After the annealing process, the build plate is removed using EDM wire cutting and the part can be transferred to a CNC for precision machine in order to achieve its specified dimensions by removing the extra material that was applied for the printing. This machining process also ensures an improved surface roughness. Following the machining process, the mold must go through the heat treatment steps of quenching and tempering to adjust its mechanical properties and obtain the high hardness required for its application. The part is then ready for its final use. For this specific part, we have designed this structure for the purpose of verifying the effectiveness of its conformal cooling channels and making sure that the coolant would flow without any issue during the operational use of the mold. And that's it, we got our part done.